Hi, Ethan again, and today for vlog number two, I'm going to be talking about chapter three, movement. The section of this chapter that really caught my interest was kinetics. From page 96, in dance, movements are defined by the space that encloses the choreography, a three-dimensional stage. In film, the frame performs a similar function. However, with each set of change, the cinematic stage is redefined. The intrinsic meanings associated with various portions of the frame are closely related to the significance of certain kinds of movements. The film director I'm most familiar with in terms of movement is Akira Kurosawa. He's been described as the Beethoven of movement. The book gives a great dissection of one of his scenes from his film Yojimbo on page 112. Akira Kurosawa's movies are rich in symbolic kinetic techniques. He often creates dramatic tensions by juxtaposing static visual elements with a small but dynamic whirlpool of motion. In this scene, for example, the greatly outnumbered protagonist, Toshiro Mifune, prepares to do battle with a group of vicious hoodlums. In static visual terms, the samurai hero seems trapped by the enclosing walls and the human wall of thugs that block off his space. But surrounding the protagonist is a furiously whipping wind, the dominant contrast of the shot, which symbolizes his rage and physical power. While I haven't personally watched any of his films, I understand how he creates tension using these techniques. If you're looking for a deeper dive into Kurosawa, I recommend checking out every frame of paintings video on him. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next vlog.